What's going on everybody? John here with Mock Motorsport and today we are going to be installing our first, uh, I would suppose, uh, kind of uh, aftermarket part on my Beer ZTS and um, nothing too crazy. However, for those of you out there who are living in areas that are not required to run a front plate, uh, I envy you. However, where I am in Southern Ontario, Canada, unfortunately, we are required to run a plate on the front of our car. And as most of you will know, especially in areas where you are required to run the front plate, um, not only is this aesthetically the most, you know, probably displeasing thing to look at because the manufacturers have spent so much effort and energy into designing that front end and making it look so sexy and beautiful, just as it is on the front of my S2000. Um, but this also creates a little bit of a problem because it blocks air from actually getting into uh, the rad and the AC condenser and potentially, uh, you know, any forced induction air exchanger or oil cooler exchanger, whatever uh, the case may be. So when I picked up my beer ZTS new from the dealer, um, I specifically requested uh, upon uh, signing paperwork that they do not drill the holes in the front bumper. Uh, to install the plate frame and what I would do uh, rather than that is I would get a plate relocate kit now there are a lot of relocate kits available on the market um, and they vary in price some are really inexpensive and they functionally do the job and others are very expensive and they add a little more features and benefits and all that other good stuff so uh, without any further delay Bum, 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 bum. I contacted the boys over at Racing, and I ordered their plate relocate uh, with the tow hook. Um, so I've already uh, cut the box open here, as you can see, and uh, I'm going to unbox this, and we're going to go through the items and have a look. Open the box here, and we've got uh, obviously a packing slip, which is pointless. Cycle. Motorcycle, motorcycle. All right, boom, white box number one. So um, this is actually, wow, okay. So not only does, I've got a racing shifter that I purchased for my other FRS, but uh, anyway, I compliment the guys out there because not only are their products really, really, really well designed, engineered, and manufactured, but man, their packaging is on point. Like, look at this, this is not remarkable. Um, but in any event, so uh, being that uh, the theme on my car is black and red, I figured it'd only be fitting that we would get the black and red uh, tow hook to complement that. So, cool. So that's piece number one there. Uh, and because I plan on tracking the car, I figured it would only be appropriate that, you know, you have a tow hook for it. So in box numero duos, do, do's, do's, douche, whatever. I'll just shut up now. Boom, all right, enjoy the drive. So let's see what we got in here. Uh, so first things first is we've got obviously our plate frame. Um, so this is where the plate attaches to. So the one thing I really like about this, and I'll kind of just show you guys, is that the with the other ones, they're a really simplistic design. It like uses kind of a, a half cup or half moon kind of indentation in the metal and the metal's often really chintzy and in any event what I really like about the race end piece is that it's it's constructed and machined out of uh, aluminum uh, so it's super light uh, but more importantly is that they feature this kind of ball joint design back here um, so you can you know with these two allen screws here you can loosen that up um, and position it and then tighten that down and it clamps onto this ball joint um, And you know, it's it's just a far better design. I think when you look at it now that being said this was not an inexpensive piece this this whole kit um, Canadian uh, between this this piece here the tug and then of course uh, the adapter kit that mounts into your bumper the bumper rebar support and then of course this threads in here look at that perfectly machined naturally of course uh, and of course your screws stainless hardware allen yeah there you go 
it's what mounts your license plate onto this trick little uh, bracket. So there you go. Cool. Okay. Um, you know, again, high quality pieces, well machined, well engineered, all made in the USA. Uh, although I'm in Canada, I do like to support uh, the manufacturing efforts and of course everything down in the US. Um, and uh, there we go. So, you know, this is a really trick setup. I really like it. If you guys are familiar with this product, you also know that they have uh, the optional GoPro mount, uh, which I do plan on purchasing after, um, which basically just screws into the top of these two holes here, and that'll allow you to mount the GoPro, uh, permanently affix the GoPro to your license plate uh, adapter, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can also get a GoPro mount that'll affix to the tow hook. So for instance, if you are not using your plate uh, and you're at the track and you put your tow hook on, there's actually a mount that you could use to mount, uh, permanently mount the GoPro. Now, I might or may, you know, be getting this down the road. I'm currently using my GoPro right now to record this, and personally, I like the suction cup. Um, it works fine for me, but uh, if I decide to, to purchase another GoPro, which I'm probably going to because they've been getting cheaper and cheaper, then I'm probably going to get another one and, and look into maybe permanently mounting it on the tow hook for track purposes. All right, so that is it in a nutshell. Uh, I just want to take a second. Uh, stickers. Yay, and look, a personalized little card thanking me from Jarrett, the founder at Raysang, thanking me for purchasing their product. And you know what, Jarrett? Thank you. Thank you for making some quality product. As I said, I have purchased, um, obviously, this from them now. Um, but I've also had their, uh, I bought a shifter, uh, a shift, uh, shift knob from them, uh, which is currently in my WRX, uh, but I bought it for my FRS and it's a terrific piece. And I've also had their front and rear, uh, so their front cam plates, the cast cam plates, and the rear uh, shock uh, mounts. And honestly, so high-end, very high quality product, and, and I can't stress that enough, and I know I've said it probably too much in this video, uh, but thank you again, Jared, thank Raysang, this is great product. If you guys are looking for stuff, I highly encourage you to check out their product and their web store and see what they have. Um, and on a side note, for those of you who are watching that have been uh, watching my previous videos, I just want to say thank you. Honestly, I am really blown away at the, the response that my videos are getting. Uh, mainly positive. I've obviously had some negative comments, but that's kind of the internet. Um, but you know what? Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Again, I don't, you know, I'm not compensated. I'm not to have been, you know, I'm not given anything to do this. I'm, I'm simply doing it because I'm passionate about this and I'm going to do it regardless on my car. Uh, so I figured, you know what, why not document the process along the way for your enjoyment and for your pleasure. What's up? I don't know why I was doing the guns out like that. Try that again. Fuck. I can't even do like a proper cut. Cut. I can't even clap. You see how pathetic that is? Boom.